Hi, and welcome to your JavaScript interview. Can you explain what higher order functions are? A higher order function is a function that either accepts a function as an argument or returns a function as a result. A higher order function can also do both of these things at the same time. So the purpose of higher order functions is to be able to reuse logic and write modular code. Okay, can you give me an example of a higher order function? Sure, here's a basic example. In this code, I have three functions, sum, product, and difference. All three perform a mathematical operation and display the output wrapped within these markers. So if I do sum 1, 2, this will display three wrapped within these markers. In all these three functions, the marker logic is repeated. Now, if you want to update the marker logic, you'll have to update all of these three functions. Instead, what you can do is extract this marker logic out into a higher order function. So this higher order function accepts a function and returns a function. So the returned function, it adds markers before and after the execution of the provided function. So let's rewrite the sum function. First, you need to remove the marker logic from it and then pass this function to the with markers function. Now the with markers function will return a new function that you can assign to wrapped sum. Now wrapped sum will behave as before. You can create more wrapped functions like this now, if you want to update this marker logic, you only really have to update it at one place. Some other examples of higher order functions are array methods like map, reduce, filter, etc. Can you explain what NAN is in JavaScript? NAN, or not a number, represents an invalid numerical value in JavaScript. It's produced when you do invalid or indeterminate operations like dividing 0 by 0, dividing a number by the string hello or finding the square root of a negative number. So is NAN a data type in JavaScript? No, it's not a data type. The type of NAN is actually number. It's just a property on the global object. NAN is a falsy value and the only value that results in false when compared to itself. So if you try to do nan double equals nan, or if you try to do nan triple equals nan, it will print false in both of these situations. Therefore, to check if a value is nan or not, you will need to use the isNan function. The isNan function will return true if the provided value is nan or will result to nan. Welcome to your JavaScript interview. Can you explain the difference between undefined and null? Null and undefined both signify the absence of a value in JavaScript. However, there's a slight difference between what they mean and how they behave. Undefined is the initial value that is assigned to all variables that have not been initialized yet. So for example, let name, when you try to print the value of name, it will print undefined. Let's take a look at another example. We have a function called logger that accepts one parameter called message and it prints the value of message inside of it. If you call this logger function without any arguments, then the value printed from this function will be undefined. Another situation where undefined pops up is when you try to access a non-existent property on an object. So in this case, if you try to do person.age, it will print undefined. You can also assign undefined explicit Explicitly to a variable. Null, on the other hand, always needs to be explicitly assigned to a variable. You can think that undefined is generally used to signify that something is uninitialized, whereas null is used to signify that something is intentionally empty or absent. Both null and undefined are falsy values, but they are not equal to each other. Null and undefined are not strictly equal, it will print false, whereas null is loosely equal to undefined because both of them are falsy. One more thing to note is that the type of undefined is undefined. Find, but the type of null is object due to a historical mistake in JavaScript. Welcome to your JavaScript interview. Can you explain what the symbol primitive type is? The symbol primitive type is used to create a unique identifier in JavaScript. You can create a symbol using the symbol function. For example, const my symbol equals to symbol. One thing to note here is that this symbol function is not really a constructor in the traditional sense. Because you can only call it like a function, you cannot do new symbol like you would do with other wrapper objects. So const my symbol equals to new symbol is invalid. You can also pass an optional description to this symbol function. This symbol function creates and return a unique symbol every time you call it. So even if you pass the same description, these two separate calls to the symbol function will return a unique identifier, which means that the returned value of these two symbol calls are not the same. So what is the use of symbols then? 
Symbols are often used as object keys. Since symbols are unique identifiers, they ensure that the object has unique keys that do not collide with other keys. For example, here I have an object with the key disk and then I create a new symbol with the optional description disk. Now I'm going to use this symbol as the object key. As you can see, even though the symbol description and the existing key of this object are the same, they do not override each other. Symbol keys are also non-enumerable keys. This means that these symbol keys won't show up in for in loop or it won't show up when you do object.keys as well. You can think of symbol keys as hidden 